and well met, my warriors of light and darkness, my defenders of Yarzia. This is your pal Rune back with another Aether Current guide. Uh, today we are tackling Urkapacha. Uh, and we are starting off in the beautiful locale of Warlar Zeko. I have uh, diligently looked up the first NPC with an Aether Current quest. Uh, just as a quick reminder, as I do at the beginning of all the videos, uh, the one, the two things you need uh, to be successful in your Aether Current hunting, it's good to have your Aether Current log. It'll show you how many quests you have to do for the region and how many wild Aether Currents that are just out there that you're going to have to use your compass to find. So, as you'll notice, I've already got a Wild Aether Current, and that's probably from the MSQ. So, usually in the MSQ, there'll be at least one quest that doles out uh, an Aether Current as uh, part of its reward. Uh, and, and, or, and sometimes when you're out and about traveling around, keep an eye out, folks, because sometimes those Aether Currents are out and about where you're questing. But uh, yeah, we're we're starting pretty much off <laughs> at uh, at the uh, the emptiest status we can go for the region. So let's go ahead and fire up that uh, first quest here. Erfurler, I regards you with a mixture of reverence and uncertainty. Great and mighty rune. I have heard tell of your victory over Valakarmanda. You protected our land, and for that I, Murfler, express my deepest gratitude. I wish only that I could have seen the battle with my own eyes. As a warrior of the Yaqui, I cannot fathom how one of your diminutive stature laid low in the fearsome Skyrim. Thus do I ask if you would demonstrate your martial prowess. I thank you for this honor. Of late, hulking monsters have been sighted south of Shades of Grief, endangering all who travel along the road. I bid you snuff out this threat, that I might see for myself how you subdue your foes. I shall go there now. Join me when you are prepared. You got it, boss. Do we have any best food we can pop? Uh, chocolate heart. Oh, well, that's for that's for the house. Fellow, oh, just out. All right. Another Aether Current quest. It's kind of funny.
Where's Muffler Man? Or I mean Murfler. <laughs> All right, there we are. Glad I am to see you did not lose your way. As for this one, it made the mistake of picking a fight with you. There was another, but unlike its comrade, it had the good sense to flee. Not far, however. It stalks us from the shadows, yet thirsting for blood. These beasts are formidable indeed, possessed of strength equal to their keen senses. I would have you hunt down the one that remains. Follow its tracks to the southwest. Doubtless it will reveal itself to what it will see as a smaller, less challenging foe. Impressive rune. Not once did you falter before towering Huelapen. Quick to react and adapt you were indeed. Yes, I have seen all that I needed to see. Now that the threat is no more, let us return to Warlar's Echo. This has been an enlightening experience for me. Not often am I granted the chance to witness a warrior whose skill far surpasses my own. For years I served as guardian of Karaz Kariorzar, the Gracious, watching over the seal placed upon Valagamanda. I would have aided in the feet of ice, too, had the Skyrune not rendered our plans meaningless. You see, it is the duty of the Temple Guardians to drive off the dangerous creatures drawn to Velargamanda's energies. At times, it was all we could do to shield the frozen Vidrell from swarms upon swarms of beasts. But now the Valagamanda has been laid low, the Guardians have nothing left to guard. Of course, this is cause for celebration. Kirkapacha, nay all of Tural, need no longer fear the Skyrune's destruction. And yet, part of me felt otherwise. Deprived of purpose, I relinquished my position. Uh, personally, I wouldn't mind if someone made my job unnecessary. Ha ha ha! Uh, but cool, Jaja -ja has a lot to answer for. No one else is to blame for my feelings of inadequacy. It is something I must work to overcome. At any rate, I thought seeing you in action might move me to seek my next passion. 
or at the very least provide inspiration for a new combat technique. But given your squishy hairless body, I remained skeptical until I observed your power firsthand. I would also be remiss not to praise your economy of movement, always thinking ahead, looking for the shortest route to victory. What calling has led you to develop such commendable skills? Ah, so you are an adventurer. Does that mean your life's purpose is the pursuit of adventure? How intriguing. Alas, much as I would love to hear your many tales, I will not keep you. When next you have a moment, however, it would be my honor to speak with you at length. Got it, buddy. Yeah. Like I say, guys, it's it's well worth doing these while you're leveling up. You get a ton of experience points for doing the quests. Uh, and usually when you find wild aether currents, you're uncovering, you know, new territory, which is also XPs. Garhorlor. Garhorlor is eager to lighten, lighten things up around here. Hail, visitor. You heard about taking one of our customary rituals? Fret not, for your part to be played as a simple one. You see, the illuminations here on Warlar's Echo make use of glowstones, a rare and precious mineral found only through mining. On occasion, we offer up prayers and hopes that their light remains strong and bright. First, I would ask you to raise a hand to the saltwater jar, jar, jar and pray for light everlasting. Strange though it may seem, I assure you it is a necessary step in our ritual. Now, great warrior, slayer of Belargamanda, open your heart, focus. You got it. It appears your feelings were heard loud and clear. Let us proceed to the next step. Now that saltwater has received your prayers, you need merely sprinkle it upon the glowstones scattered around the village, and the ritual will be complete. Cool. Alrighty. Do 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 do. jump up there so doop doop there we are I 
I see you have successfully completed the ritual. And for that, you have my thanks. Likewise, my fellow Yakui will be glad to know that an outsider has shared in our culture. Mining the peak for glowstones, we occasionally discover selfish shellfish fossils. Some have wondered if perhaps this tall mountain was once submerged beneath the waves many long lifetimes ago. The stone's radiance is a reflection of their joy, shining all the brighter when offered water that smells the sea, or so the story goes. This was our little tradition born. Knowing that it is the will of the great warrior that now illuminates our humble village, our spirits are sure to lighten as well. Suffice it to say, we are fortunate indeed that you were willing to join in our prayer with an open heart. May the light of the glowstones ever guide your steps. Oh, thank you, sir. Alright, so it looks like that's all the quests in the area. So as we head out, let's take a look and see what we can find. Uh, wild Aether Comforter. Uh, wild Aether Compass style. Those shaggy things freak me out. The southeast, you say? Ah. It's going to be up there. If I was to hazard a guess. second here. There we are. So I was correct. I just uh, kind of overshot it. So this looks like a nice shot for for a thumbnail, as it were. Just love, loving the graphical upgrade. What do you guys think about it? Leave a comment uh, down below. 
I just can't get enough of it, man. is the northeast so oh no we're not my god hey <laughs> yeah do not do not trust me with the map folks get up like I say folks I always I always add the chapters in so you don't have to torture yourself uh, watching me make my way around So we got two quests to do, uh, a number of wild aether currents. Let's, let's pop the aether compass. Yeah. So we got to go down. is the best way. <laughs> oh shit. Uh Honestly, I think we're best off. Yeah. So we got a couple of blue quests here. All right, perfect. A crisis of corruption. Nopley is rubbing his hands together. <laughs> hey, I recognize you. Your room, yes? Heard about you. Companion to the third promise. Most dependable individual. The name's Nopley. 
I'll have you know I'm a merchant, blessed by fortune, if I dare do say so myself. Indeed, I believe our meeting today is no chance encounter, but the hands of fate guiding us for one singular purpose, the exchange of invaluable items at an unbelievable price. If I could direct your attention over here for just a moment. Feast your eyes on these. Crates of exceedingly rare and precious corrupted crystals. Beautiful, aren't they? They were just extracted from remote regions of Eorzea. Shine a brilliant orange hue, quite unlike your run-of-the-mill crystals, no? For you, I'm willing to offer them for the low, low price of one pound. In the millions column. Sky highway robbery at this valuation, but anything for a friend of the third promise. Ha <laughs> ha ha. That price, well, such a low price. <laughs> Sorry, I clearly misheard you. It almost sounded like you said one million. What do you mean? Considering how much it set me back to purchase them, the price I'm offering should be perfectly reasonable. Strange, these are precious crystals, are they not? Just to be certain, these crystals are considered priceless treasures in Eorzea, right? Right. Let me see if I'm getting this right. Not only are corrupted crystals commonplace across the salt, they're also highly volatile. In the past, you once used such crystals together with an elemental converter to do battle with powerful entities you call primals. What's more, you kept them in a warded container at all times to protect against their de deleterious effects. All of which is to say, no practical use for such crystals has been discovered, meaning no one with sense would ever bother to mine them. Peddler who sold the crystals to me never mentioned a word of this. Claimed they're extremely rare in Eorzea, which is why I decided to purchase them in the first place, even at the exorbitant price he offered. Naturally, I believed him. Having never seen crystals of their like, could you blame me? But if they really have no use... Have I nobly the lucky been swindled? Yeah, a little. That's alright, buddy. Happens to the best of us. Well, at the very least, I was able to learn about Crystal's true nature before sell selling them to some poor soul. Fortune hasn't abandoned me completely yet. At any rate, I'd like to verify whether these crystals truly hold no value. Would you be willing to help me look into this room? I need someone I can trust that you'd be willing to share the truth with me says a lot. No need to answer right away. Give it some thought. If you've no interest, you're free to be on your way. If you decide to assist me, however, I'll be here waiting. Willing to help then? Wonderful. You really are a kind hearted soul. Now, before I go and confront the merchant who sold me these crystals, I'd like to look into potential uses for them in Tural. For instance, crystals are in high demand among Tarali mages who make extensive use of them in their rituals. And I just happen to know a spellcaster among the distillery's guard. I'd like you to speak with them about the corrupted crystals and gauge their interest in purchasing them. In the meantime, I'll see about procuring a container to ward off the crystal's harmful effects. For your explanation, preparing an elemental converter with my skills is likely impossible, but finding the requisite materials for a warding vessel should be well within my abilities. Good man. Major looking for is an individual of the Bunewa tribe. 
If you happen upon someone wielding a staff, chances are you found them. Awesome. Alright, let's go find a staff. Oh, I think I see him. Ow, the cactus was sharp. First thing about crystals. I'm not an artisan nor a mage. Oh, oh. Trixie, Trixie. Oh, well, this guy is not going to be it either. Unusual crystals. Not interested. Prefer to keep my distance from particular peculiarities. Do. Do, do. There we are. Intriguing. I've never heard of these corrupted crystals. As a practitioner of the arcane arts, I'll not deny they pique my curiosity. But I'm afraid I've no interest in purchasing them. If they're as volatile as you say, there's little to be done with crystals whose very nature can change on a whim. was not interested. Nevertheless, I thank you for speaking with them on my behalf. Seems that you were right. These crystals really are worthless. I may be able to make, uh, make back what I've lost, but there's still one thing I can do. Rune, I wish to stop the pernicious peddler from continuing his crooked ways. Will you help me? What a relief. Allow me to offer you a small token of my thanks. When you have a moment to spare, please come see me again. We must stop him before he has a chance to swindle anyone else. Alright. Uh, and it looks like the other one is right... The other quest is right over here. There's the the wee pelu pelu. The flustered merchant appears desperate for help. Oh, thank goodness. Capable looking traveler, please, I need your help. My caravan was attacked by beasts. I had a bodyguard, a young Mamulja, mercenary, but he could barely fend for himself, let alone me. He somehow managed to throw me over his shoulder and carry me all the way back here, but no sooner did my feet touch the ground than he ran back into the jaws of death. Damned if I could figure out why. Injured as he was, I don't like his chances. Please, I beg of you, go to Tabiakek. Tabby, you kick and save him. Well, that's what we're in the business of doing. This is a good route. Oh, there we are.
Hey, buddy, you doing all right? I hardly believe my eyes. You filled those bloodthirsty beasts with such ease. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Thank you for saving me. As a mercenary for hire, I'm ashamed such help was even necessary. Sorry, buddy. So the merchant sent you, did she? The attack on the caravan saw her wares spattered all over. I figured the least I could do was retrieve as much as I could. Thanks to your timely rescue, I can still do just that. She need, uh, no need for you to stay with me, friend. Go and let her know that I'm safe. I'll grab what I can and be along shortly. All right. Oh, I'm so relieved to hear you say. The Mammal Jaw take considerable pride in their trade as mercenaries, but that young man seems to have a particular acute sense of responsibility. I've heard tell of some Mammal Jaw travel across the salt to make a name for themselves. As a preliminary step to that, it seems many young hopefuls gather experience here in Tarao as mercenaries and bodyguards to sharpen their skills. That said, earnest as he is, the young man failed to protect my caravan. We will have to discuss some form of conversation, compensation for my losses. I'm not heartless, however. He saved my life and risked his own to reclaim my wares. There's much to consider. For now, however, treating his wounds must come first. Fair enough. All right. Okay, so that's it for quests, and now it is just wild aether current time. All right. That's a big boy. Oh, there it is right there. Perfect. right up there. Nice, nice, nice.
Look at that. Look at that off in the distance, eh, guys? That's just gorgeous. All right. Uh, let's see here. Whoops. Oh, I still got five to go. 557 to the west. Okay, well, let's... It's going to be on the other side if I was to hazard a guess. the uh, alpac is here or is it going to be up on that that cliff and a hazard i guess and say it's on top of the cliff Southeast. Ah, there we are. Oh, ha 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 ha. And I don't think there's a way to. Fair enough. This is why I put the chapters in. So that way you guys don't have to go through this ridiculousness. You can just see where it is and approach it from the proper angle. Ah, 
<laughs> Look at that pineapple, dude. That's awesome. Oh, you bloody cactuars. There it is. Bowser's. Easy peasy. So it's going to be around the other side of this cliff here. So we gotta figure out are we better or are we better off I think we might be better off starting from down here to be perfectly honest Yeah, so, okay. So I doubt that's joined. So we're, pro we're probably going to have to go up and around. Sorry, guys. Like I say, don't... <laughs> whatever you do... Do not... Uh, do not leave me <laughs> with... Uh, the map and compass uh, in hand. Okay, so yeah, got to go around.
But I don't... Don't think... Southwest would be like that, right? Uh, let's just take a peek. So it's got to be something right off. So southwest, yeah, okay. All right, so. Okay, so we do have to go around. Man, am I so grateful I put in the chapters so that way you guys can just pa <laughs> pass this, this nonsense. And I'm talking about my nonsense, not not the game. The game is the game is perfectly. Uh, Perfectly amazing, but uh, my inability to uh, <laughs> follow directions at the best of times. Uh, A second. I wonder. like backtracking <laughs> ah well what can you do
Right now, as is tradition, yeah, let's take Swift Wind on a ride. See if there's any uncovered areas. Because I'll tell you what, folks. Oh, look at that lake. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. The other thing you want to do, as soon as you get all your Aether Currents and can fly in the zone, especially if you're especially if you're still leveling up, is make sure you get all the unknown patches. Because when I did it for uh, 
Hakama, Kaza, sorry, Kazama Uka. Uh, that was almost like it was like 576,000 experience points for for completing the the territory. Like I believe it's uh, the map making. Uh, you're a part of your map making achievements. Oh my god, these zones are so gorgeous. Like it's one thing to see them from the ground. And uh entirely another uh to see them from from the air. Like there we go. See 541,000. Cannot go wrong, my friends. All right. Uh, so this ends, uh, this guide, uh, <laughs> and I've already forgotten Urkapacha, right? Uh, so as you can see, I've still got MSQ to do to unlock other regions. Uh, but as I do unlock the other regions, you, uh, bet your sweet bitty, uh, that I'll be releasing uh, a guide to help you guys out. Uh, so I want to thank each and every one of you for all your support. Uh, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button as it does help the channel grow. Uh, and I turn on that notification bell as well. So that way you actually don't miss when I post uh, a con uh, any content to the YouTube channel. And if you want to catch me live and catch some of that MSQ uh, as I go through it, I am over at... Uh, on Twitch under Rune Weird Gaming, so www.twitch.tv forward slash Rune Weird Gaming, Rune Weird Gaming, all one word. Uh, yeah, and we'll catch you there. But until then, be good to yourselves, be good to each other. And this is your pal Rune signing out for the day. Take care.